This is how a simple Facebook request led to the brutal murder of this beautiful young woman. On the 25th of August 2024, Nomsa Jas, a 26 year old pharmacist assistant at Diskem Pharmacy in Moi River Mall in a town called Pochisfrum. I hope that I pronounced that correctly, did not show up at work. She had worked at the pharmacy for a number of years, so it was unlike her to just not show up and not give a heads up. Her boss then tried to call her, but she was unreachable. So he assumed that maybe she was stuck in traffic or had another inconvenience and would soon call in. After a number of hours, they tried to call her again, but she was still unreachable. So they decided to contact the next of kin. The family had no idea that she was missing. They had last spoken to her the previous day, so they sent her her cousins to go and check on her at her apartment in Mayer Street in the same town. When the cousins got there, there was no trace of Nomsa or her car. So this was a red flag and they decided to tell the family. If she was not at her house and she was not at work, where would she be? Nomsa was not the type of person who would just pack and leave without telling anyone. They then reported her missing to the police and began circulating her pictures online. Her car was later discovered parked at a parking lot in Daveton Mall in East Rand, but there was no trace of her. Gauteng and Northwest Province police officers managed to get information that led to the grim discovery of her decomposing body on Sunday the 8th of September 2024. The stage of decomposition indicated that she had been killed shortly after she went missing. Shortly after the discovery of her body, they managed to arrest a Mozambican national named Sinet Tembe Mabaso, a 29 year old. It is currently unclear how they managed to arrest him or discover Nomsa's body. The suspect, after being arrested, was charged with kidnap, theft, and murder. He is said to have done this with the help of another suspect who is still on the run. His apprehension led to the police opening a can of worms. They found that the motive of the crime was even more gruesome than the crime itself. This man had intentionally targeted Nomsa for a romance scam. He had sent her a Facebook friend request in order to lure her into an online relationship with him. He he deliberately led her on, knowing clearly well that he did not want to date her. He just wanted to exploit her. It is believed that he saw some of her pictures in her car and he assumed that she was a rich single woman. He had then planned with his friend to lure her into a relationship to arrange a meeting and then steal from her. He suggested a meetup and she went happily, not knowing that he was not the man that he claimed he was. She left work on the 24th of August 2024, not knowing that this was her last day on earth. The boy Boyfriend and her friend then kidnapped her, hoping to squeeze every penny out of her, but then they realized that she did not have much. They were frustrated when they realized that she was not as rich as they thought. They then stole what they could, but in fear of being arrested, they then decided to kill her to conceal her evidence of their theft. Her family described her as a sweet young lady who would never hurt a fly, and she was brutally murdered all because she was looking for love. The police are warning South African women against online dating and dating men that they don't know very well because a lot of undocumented immigrants in South Africa are practicing romance scams. This homicide file is a stark reminder that online dating can be very deadly and as a woman when you meet a person that you don't know very well do it in a public setting so that you can be safe. She thought that she was meeting the love of her life but she was meeting a monster. Because of the rise of romantic scams women need to be more careful than ever. May her soul continue to rest in eternal peace.